Okay, what we need to do now is, is just attach our front wall onto our aviary. So just getting the front wall into position, nesting your notches in, and then you'll notice that your pre-punched holes on your channel, on the side wall, will line up with your front wall. And just put a little screw through there. Just work your way down that corner. Do the same with the other side. Again, same again, just working your way down the side. When you're joining your two shorter sheets together at a corner, just the same process as your other walls. Just uh, drill a hole in both corner sheets. And then put your little pan head screw. And do the same down the bottom. All right, once we've got our four walls uh, connected, we need to put our roof on. Uh, sliding your roof up and over. Starting down the back here first. Okay, it's important that you line your ridge beam up with the center. So the center of your rib, ridge beam needs to be in line with the center of the gables, like so. Okay, once we're happy that we've got that ridge beam positioned, uh, we just need to put a, a couple of screws through the lip into this uh, back gable. So you just drill these out. And one in the center. Okay, once, we, once we've got our um, our roof connected to our back gable there, we just need to work our way along uh, the roof edge connecting onto the side, top of the side wall. Just match up your holes. Okay, once we've got that roof attached now, second stage is to get our other roof on. Um, now, as we slide it on, we go to line it up. Just make sure you're aware that you'll have a 47 mil overhang at the front. Um, and you'll be flush with the back gables. So when you slide it on, just keep that in mind. Now if you want, just hold it there and go inside. Okay, now we just need to line up our holes in our ridge beam with the holes in our roof channels secure that roof to the ridge beam. Okay, once that's done, then we need to attach our roof to our gables and our top of our side walls. Okay, we just need to fit our gable cap to our roof now. Um, you've got some little tabs in the bottom of the gable cap. They need to hook under your lip flashings, like so. Drill a hole. Pre punched holes there, just clear them out. Same with the other side. Okay, now we just need to attach our gable brace um, from our gable up to our roof for stability. So you've got a couple of pre punched holes there. Attach it to there. Um, this one will match up with one of the uh, roofing screws. Just take that out. Lock that back in there. And then just finish that front off by putting another screw in the other side. Okay, we're putting the gable brace on the back one. Same thing again. Screw in down here. Now, as you can see, um, this one doesn't actually meet a roofing screw, so we just need to drill our own hole there. And again, finish that back wall off 